it's April 2024 and you find me here at Lake Pelicachivo in Bosnia. So that's the second spring, this is a return trip. Um, I came here last April. Um, I did okay, had uh, 14 fish to 44 pounds, but I felt I could have done better. Um, I didn't really um, do what I thought I could have done. So I've come back um, and basically my aim, my target is to try and catch a 50 pounder this time. So let's see how we get on, shall we? Um, so we've done the, the draw at the, uh, the lodge around 11 o'clock. There's two Polish pairs, a German pair, um, myself and Caroline. Um, I chose the second um, out of the hat, which was number one. So that's twice on the trot now. Last year I, I pulled out the last in the hat and it was number one, swim choice number one. And this time I chose out swim choice number one again. So I've gone in the same swim, swim 29. Um, there was a Romanian angler in here last week. Um, he fished out in open water. For swim 29, you can fish straight out in front or behind me, you've got this bay and the lake's a bit of a horseshoe. And this is one, one end of the horseshoe basically. Um, and he didn't fish this bay at all. Um, when we got here, um, we could see fish showing and that so basically um, that's what I've, I've come I'm um, set up um, and fishing in the bay and we'll see what happens but um, it's mixed weather um, overcast quite cold at night but mid, mid teens in the week it's been really hot the last couple of weeks the war that the warm's really uh, warm so I'm hoping that maybe it'll be a good week um, so let's see how it goes Well, had a um, battery malfunction basically on the mic on the first morning. We arrived um, late on the Friday evening, I think it was about 10 or 11 o'clock, and one of the anglers who was on the week um, previous had, had left early, and so instead of us bivvying up by the um, the lodge, Christoph just said, oh, why didn't you jump into Swim 29, the swim you fished last year? You know, you've got some spots you, you'll probably know, flick some rods out. And obviously I'm not going to say no to that, am I? Um, and that's exactly what I did. I um, sucked two rods out in, in front in open water and I put two rods down in the bay um, to the side where I'd, I'd fished previously. I walked round and catapulted some bait out um, and then clipped them up exactly the same distances as I had um, the year before. I think it was 21 wraps, if I remember rightly. Um and cast those out and basically I had three commons um on that on that extra night or extra morning basically I guess. Um and this was the second of uh, of the three at thirty eight pounds. It's a lovely long um hard fighting common. Um the first one was a twenty seven and the uh the third one uh we'll 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 see after this basically. So yeah it was a lovely start. Um um, just before the draw, basically, first first light, I think um, the bites came sort of five, six, seven o'clock and we had the draw at 11. This is fish number three, 36 on the nose. Ooh. Rather chunky one compared to the first one. 
but still happy, can't complain. Three in the first morning, three commons, 27, this 36 and a 38. Oh, I think that's okay, isn't it? So I'm not sure if this is one of the new stockies that Christoph's put in. It's a bit agitated and I'm not sure it's been handled much. I'll try to show you the other side. But there's been fish showing on both my spots. Got two in the bay. This one came to Snowman again, 20 mil peppered squid and a 15 mil yellow pineapple and banana pop-up, I think. Was it pineapple, banana? No, it was the uh, sweet tiger pop-up, sorry, 15 mil. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Lovely fish. Just had the draw. I've pulled the uh, second out the um, the hat, and it was number one. So I got the swim choice number one. I've gone into swim 29, which is the same swim as last time, um, although it's been carved up. There's a couple more people on this week, so we've got someone swim fishing opposite in swim five. But I'm fishing to a bay um, which is on the right hand side, um, and luckily, not long after the draw. Um, the rod that produced the three commons has just produced number four for me because there was a there was a vacant swim. They let me fish early. Let me uh, do an extra night, basically. Very nice of them. Um, so I didn't have to wind in. My wife Caroline looked after the rods, come back, and this ripped off. Another junky, thirty-eight pound Pelagachiva mirror. My first mirror this trip. And uh, lovely fish. And that's the third third fish um, to the same spot. So basically two rods are produced. One's produced three and one's produced one. Um, just opposite. One's a bit closer to the margin. For opposite margin was produced one. This one's in slightly deeper water. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. I might have to put um, another rod. I might have to drop the other one just a little bit shorter into deeper water. And maybe that'll start producing a few more. But is that a lovely mirror, eh? Gorgeous. Let's do a couple of little black marks on it. So I'm sure it's uh, probably a recognisable fish. They'll be able to see the records. Very plump. Not probably too far from spawning, you would think. Oh. Uh, camera's just lighting up. There we go. And that's the other side of her. Uh, same same tactic, same snowman as the 38 common. Uh, yeah, happy days. Oh, yes. So as I've mentioned probably a couple of times now on this video, um, um, I've decided to go on the um, Bordy only approach. Now it was sort of um, an idea I had, but to be honest, obviously I got, I got given that, that, that sort of bonus night um, on on the Friday night before Saturday, and I didn't want to put loads of bait out and whatever, and potentially you know cause an issue for anyone who who might go in there the following day. So I just I just catapulted boilies out that night on three spots and had those th three fish, and then I got really lucky on the draw, um, and and pulled out ball number one and and, ch and decided to stick in the same swim. We'd we'd heard a few fish that night. Um, Caroline heard the first uh, couple while I was chatting away to the, the guys in the lodge. She was sort of standing in the swim and heard a couple of fish slosh out into that bay. So it all, all looked positive. So, um, and then after the draw, went back to me rods and literally five minutes later, one of the uh, you know, rods ripped off again, um, a 38 mirror. Um, so obviously I'd had four th by then and I'd only been fishing 10 hours on the Bordy only approach. So I thought I'll, I'll stick with it and see what happens. 
Um, if I need to change my approach, then I've got part of course pellets and, and corn and whatever with me. I can always mix it about, but I'll stick with the boilies. And basically, I walk down the bank on my side, um, just past the skip where they you know, put a load of rubbish and, and catapult out onto the onto the bottom of the bay rod on a gravel hump, um, 70, 80 yards down, um, and then walk around the bottom of the bay to the opposite margin. You can see here, basically, I'm scrambling down a steep bank. Um, and baiting up, you know, not really tight, spread out a bit. Um, and then I walked further down the bank to another spot, my third rod, um, which was an old closed swim, basically the margin of an old closed swim, and baited up that one as well. Or just, like I say, all catapult, nice and easy, um, apart from clambering up and down this, this steep bank, of course. And there we are, 55 pounds, Pelican Shiva Common, and my new Bosnian PB. So you can see here, I'm just casting my middle rod um, to the tall tree, I think it's a poplar. And if you look, you can see it's three trunks. And basically I needed to hit either the middle or the right trunk to land on a hard gravelly spot, which had um, done me well the previous year. And um, yeah, and obviously as you, you just seem to be going around and baiting up in that area, sort of liberally, basically. So yeah, 21 wraps, dead center or slightly right of that tall tree. My left hand rod was also 21 wraps, just slightly left of an old swim, and the right hand rod was 18 wraps towards the um, old restaurant, middle of the old restaurant. Oh. Well, I've got fish number six here, Sunday morning. This fish beasted me up. Luckily, the uh, the boat for if any fish get snagged is in the swim, and I needed it this morning. It's Sunday, just gone six o'clock. It's overcast and winds picked up, and uh, this fish took me round. I'm, I'm fishing into a bay. And it's like a 90 degree angle with thick reeds, and this fish just took me right round the reeds. Last year, I made the mistake of trying to wade along. Uh, when a fish did the same to me, but uh, it went over me waders. So I thought I wasn't going to do that this time. And I'll get to the boat as I'd still had it for the previous fish. So, 36 pound, lovely common. It's the fifth common now out of the six fish. Oh, and yeah, it gave me a right old battle from the boat. Did not want to come up. Uh, Good old pepper squid pink pop up snowman again. It's the fourth from the left hand rod now. Let me just turn around. Oh, fish. Like I say, I'm just going over the far side, catapulting a load of bait out in and around it. I've had the marker float up, so I know how far to catapult the bait and that and uh, yeah and I've had yeah four on the left 
one on the middle had a drop back last night um, didn't connect with anything and obviously the one previously down the right hand side so nothing on the open water rod yet all in this bay and it keeps sloshing out there so yeah hopefully that will continue oh, yes right i need to get my rod back out Well, I've got a um, local Gillian expert to uh, help me out on this one, Caroline. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, it, was, it was good to have her uh, with me on this trip after everything that we've been through um, in the previous year and that, just to sort of get away and forget about everything. So, yeah. Yeah, good times. Unfortunately, um, she wasn't well and her back was playing up, so um, although she was going to have some a couple of rods herself, um, we didn't in the end. Um, she tried to play one of, one of, um, one of my fish, but um, she, she couldn't after about a minute. She had to give me the rod back, unfortunately. She was just in too much pain. So she just ended up being next person. <laughs> right. It's all good. Oh, and I know you hear it a lot. Um, yeah, people saying how hard the fish fight and stuff like that. But yeah, honestly, <laughs> the fish in this lake they do. Um, and and typically, normally when you're playing a fish and you get their head and mouth above water and they take some some oxygen in, um, normally that's it or very close. But oh, not these ones. No, they've still probably got another three, four minutes fighting in them. <laughs> but yeah. Um, like I say it was it, it was good, and uh, after after that happens a couple of times, you, you get to uh, to um, yeah, expect it basically, and realise that you, once you got them in close and you got heads, but uh, that's not necessary yet. No, no, they're going to go and charge off, and then they're going to charge to the left and charge to the right and back out and stuff like that. So yeah, it was all good fun. Thankfully, I only lost one to a hook pull in uh, in the entire trip. So yeah, all good. Well, it's a glorious Sunday afternoon. Nice and sunny, bit of a wind. Um, the wind's turned and it's pushing into the bay lovely. So I've had three three bites now off the, uh, the rod down the bottom of the bay. I'll just keep going down there and catapulting it in. And um, this is the largest mirror of the trip so far. Just shy of 40 pounds. Lovely, veiny mirror. Oh, there you go. That's lovely nice solid mirror all veins and little pin scales and that the one before uh, about an hour ago just shot a 30 pounds oh lovely scales on its wrist and this is another one of that pod by the looks of it oh. Oh, no I'll just turn around and show you the other side I think that's um, eight from nine bites I had a drop back as well missed the drop back but lost one at the net it was a common, uh, probably about 30 ish, something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is the eighth that I've landed so far. Let's get on up. And it's the same tactics. Just fishing boilies. And it's a 20 mil, 15 mil snowman. Absolutely made up, lovely fish. Yes. Oh. There you go, one Pelicachivo mirror. So it's um, Sunday morning and it's uh, the first bite I've actually got on the camera. Didn't actually get the bite as such, but um, you know, switched the camera on for the fight. 
Um, before going to the fight, I should probably mention um, you can see basically it looks like a bandstand. There's an old restaurant down the bottom of that bay there. Uh, the locals will come in the summer and have drinks, and that used to be sort of like a bit of a beach area. And there used to be a rope going across the bottom of that bay where you know families, kids, and all that can have a paddle and a swim. But obviously that's all stopped now. But that that restaurant was basically my marker, m the middle of the of those two sort of yeah. Um, bandstands um, or slightly right um, where the tallest tip of the tree is that was me mark to cast to um, basically um, in the in the day try and get in the middle at night I'd go to that that tip of the tree basically um, and if you if you look at just above me to the left you've got that that willow overhanging so I had to wade out um, to the right of me rods and down to sort of where that single stem is reed stem um, to be able to cast down there and, and avoid that, that weeping willow. Um, 18 wraps and there's like a gravelly area there and it's quite well known. It's a bit obvious but um, seem to do the bites um, as you can see here and god do they fight. Um, I've obviously edited um, a lot of these fights because they were, they were lasting you know anywhere up to 10 minutes some of them. Once you know got the old gopro the memory stick and stuck it in the laptop and had a look and it's like 10 minutes like oh blimey yeah you guys aren't going to be appetite um you know sitting there going, going through watching me play a, a fish for 10 minutes and there we are 52 pound gorgeous common Let's go along with the 55 earlier this morning. Let's try and get around the other side. I hold them a bit better normally with the head to the left. Fifty commons in a day. Don't want to be greedy, but maybe a mirror next. But I'm happy, whatever. Oh yes. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely fish. Well, Sunday evening still, and this is the eighth bite I've had today. Um, again, on the right hand rod, the last, I think, six bites now. Um, lovely, chunky common, just shy of 43 pound. Typical sort of stamp that what's in this lake, um, as I've mentioned before, just over boilies, probably half a pound, pound of. Um, Peppered squid, 15, 20 mil. I'm walking down the bank and uh, basically catapulting them out. There's a gravel hump down to the um, bottom of the right of this bay. Uh, 18 wraps is what I'm casting basically from here, which is my massive right, 72 yards. Probably about 65 meters, something like that. And this is just shy of 43 or 19 kilos. Let's, let's get her up for you. And the frog wants to come in, and there you go. Lovely, typical stamp of. Nearly dropped it then. Gives me the opportunity to turn turn it around, and it's the, the same old um, snowman setup. I've got a mono, short mono hook length. Thank you fish for flipping over for me. Oh no. Um, oh. And they're still showing down there at the moment, but the wind's completely dropped now. It's been blowing really nice down here for the last 24 hours, but oh. we got a flipper. To be honest, it didn't fight much, so yeah, I'm not surprised it's fighting a bit on the mat now. 
it came in quite nicely. Took me other two lines out, but back lead caught them, but thankfully he didn't put up a great big fight. It's oh, oh. Lovely, chunky common, eh? Oh, yes. Happy days. Ah, I've got to get all three rods back out. Because he's wiped the other two out. <laughs> well, it's Monday morning. And... I had a bite off the middle rod. Most of them have been at the bottom of the bay. The last, I don't know, six, seven, eight bites. Had one um, opposite yesterday afternoon. But, um, and I don't know if they may be starting to come out the bay because the wind's dropped, but not had a lot on the, the left-hand rod or the middle rod. So it's quite nice to see the middle rod go. Just basically fishing the uh, margin opposite. Um, and it's the same, same bait, same tactics. So that spot's got a bit of pellet as well as boily. Um, and it's a, a lovely, lovely mirror, typical of this lake. Let's get her up for you. There you go. Another 38 pounds mirror from Pelagachivo. I'm not sure how many 38s there is now. Three, four, five, I'm not sure. But this is fish number 15 for the session. Only lost one so far. Touch wood, no more. I've said it now, it's going to happen, isn't it? But yeah, and they really fight hard, I have to say. They do beat me up, they take an age to come in. Some of it's the leads aren't dropping. Um, and so obviously, they stay, stay down deeper um, when you get into the margin. But lovely, chunky mirror, isn't it? Let's quickly turn around, and as usual, We'll slip it back afterwards. A bit more water for her. There you go. Uh, and and the, the, the hook bait and uh, rig's the same. If not mentioned, I use a, a mono rig, 20 pound mono, uh, for about five, six inches, quite short rig. Um, and I do use a braided hair. Make sure that, oh, that Baits are all nice and soft. Uh, they move around and that. It's nice, a su supple hair, stiff rig. Just a snowman on a size six sharpened, curved hook. And there we go. Yes. That's not me, just just to let you know. Do you want me to pick it up? Uh, I'll see what this one does, but I might have to. It should be right if you go over that way, yeah. You're far enough out now. Oh, I can see the line, that's it. Yeah, cool.
Um, I'll... Hello, got one of the resident cats just having a quick nose. Come on, off you go. It's a, a lovely sunny Monday afternoon and I've just managed to catch what is the largest mirror of the trip. Just a smidging over 40 pounds. This is a proverbial football, probably 25 pound of belly but I'm still happy. Come on, fish. Go on, cat, out your way. You don't want that landing on you. You'll be one squished cat, won't you, eh? Come on. One pelic achiever football. <laughs> happy days. Yeah, I only put the rod out about an hour, hour and a half ago. Been doing a few things. Pop them around the site. Some filming and uh, shower and whatever and sort of stuff out, baiting up the far margin. So got it up out about an hour ago, an hour and a half. It's actually been quite quiet. Not seen much today. Bad the last couple of days. I thought maybe they've moved out the bay, but everyone's proved me wrong. And there you go. Yeah. I say forty oh four. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Right, it's Friday. Uh, I'm coming towards the end of the uh, session now, and I thought I'd cover the uh, the bait that I've brought with me and what we've used, and some of the um, rules of baits that you can or can't um, use on this lake. So, first one is nuts. No nuts are allowed on the lake, so tigers and etc. Can't bring those, uh, they're not permitted. Uh, maize, uh, you can't bring maize, um, shop bought, prepared or, or homemade, don't know that. Um, but they do make maize on site, I think 60, six euros um, a bucket. They also do pellets, they sell pellets on site, so you can get those. Sweet corn, sweet corn in the tin, good old um, Jolly Green Giant, they're fine, so you can bring tins of sweet corn, um, that's fine. Um, particles again, particles are okay, uh, good old mixed particles. Um, I brought six jars of this, but I didn't actually use any in the end. I've just gone for the boilie only approach. Um, it's getting it's that season where they're just needing to build up their fat levels, ready for spawning. Um, there's quite a lot of bait boat users putting in you know, the particles, boilies, pellets and that. So I just decided that uh, try something different and just go with the boilie approach. Um, and then on the boilies itself, now I brought, I think it was 35 kilos, something like that, 35, 40 kilos of um, Dynamite's new peppered squid. Uh, and seems to have really worked well. Um, I brought, I brought um, 15 mil and 20 mil of the peppered squid. And I've used 20 kilos in the week, just US. I've had 35 fish, I've lost two, so 35 bites, a couple of dropbacks as well. And I've gone over um, 20 kilos, so 10 kilos of 20 mil and 10 kilos of 15 mil. Uh, I think I've got two and a bit bags left, something like that. So maybe I have 35, that, was, that rings a bell. Um, the liquids, now I just sort of soak the, the hook baits basically um, in that. So you've got the liquid, or you've got the, the hook bait dip. So just, just to uh, boost boost the, uh, the hook baits a little bit. Put them in the tub or something like that if you want. And I've been using Snowman's. Um, got the 20 mil bottom bait, peppered squid. Um, now there is a lot of small fish in here. Um, and certain times in the evenings day, you know, you'll get the odd bleep and whatever. And probably best to wind them in and check because they'll, they'll whittle down the 20 mil them too long you're winding there'll be no no bottom bait at all um, so i've been using those and that just sort of prolongs it a little bit so the hardened hook baits that i, I soak in the uh, hook bait dip as well so i've been using those and that that saves that 
issue, or at least prolongs it a bit. I generally find that I have a, a bit of it left. Um, and then on the, on the actual snowman, the pop-ups, um, I've got the Sweet Tigers, 15 mil yellow, and uh, the Squid and Octopus, also in 15 mil. And I've also got my own. I've had quite a few of these. These are my own uh, 15 mil sort of spice pink pop-ups or pink spice pop-ups but these are my own um, and that's, that's worked quite well these have I've, I've had a few fish on these um, it's quite coloured water so what is something that was really pungent and smelly which would you know break down through um, which would you know draw the fish in through the uh, the murky water so that's why I brought those with me I made made up two batches and as you can see I've got through probably half a tub um, and so I've had the majority on those. I've had a couple on the Sweet Tiger and I think four or five on the Squid and Octopus. So um, pink, so pink seems to work well basically. Uh, the vast majority, I think 30 odd fish have been on pink. Um, snowman combination. So, um, so yeah, I just thought I'd cover the bait so you've got an idea. I'd say it, mainly boilies really, um, 15 and 20 mil. I'm not, I've been, I was um, spawning boilies out and a bit of pellet into an open water spot, breaking it down and whole, but I haven't, that hasn't produced a fish. It's all the margin spots basically, um, and I'm just catapulting the boilies out, so as whole. Uh, yeah, that was the bait for the session. Oh, that's a stunning fish. Lovely scales on it. Oh, well. I'm going to caught my biggest mirror from the lake so far. Um, 20 or kilos, um, just a smidgen over 45 pounds. Um, the wind's changed, um, sort of pushing away from the bay now. And I thought maybe my time's up, but just before dark, seen a few down the bottom of the bay. So they're still here at the moment. I'm not sure for how long, but I'm going to make the most of it while they are here. So that's, uh, because I won't be surprised if they start to move in the next uh, day or so. Because the wind's been in my favour. That's... There you go. That is lovely, chunky, mid-45. Mid-45, 45. Oh, there. Corker of a fish. Turn around. Oh. Luckily, didn't fight much, but um, she's probably going to beat me up in a second for saying that now. <laughs> if I can get her up on this side for you, yeah. probably can't see him at night. But she's got lovely pin scales. Then her wrist of her tail, she's got all the sort of red veins and that on her, on her flank. It's a lovely fish. Yeah, I think that's the 18th fish. Not numbers really matter, but yeah, things are going well. Got to make the most of it. It's obviously going to slow up. So, uh, yeah. Happy days. Come on. Thank you, my beauty. Really sure, not really not sure what to say. Absolutely blown away, buzzing, buzzing. And basically, what's got on the mat here is my third 50 pound common in as many days. Just absolutely blown away. Really did not think it. It's like a, it may sound silly, but it's a session of a lifetime for me. We'll see if she'll come up and play. And I've also got a um, 44 mirror in the sling, which makes fish number 20 of the trip. Uh, but I think I'll just do some pics of that one. We'll do some 
Come on. Come on, you know you want to say hello to the people on the camera, don't you? Hey? Oh. Keep slipping over. Let's try that one. Come on. There you go. 50 pounds, 10 ounces. What's that? 23 kilos, something like that in European money. Of Pelagachiva common carp. Like I say, my third. Absolutely bonkers, but I knew from the fight. Um, the way it's fight, fighting slow and dogged. Thuds went under me two other lines, but I like, thankfully come back um, without any dramas for a change for me. Oh. Just slowly but surely, and then go off on any mad, powerful. Runs like some of the new young fish in the lake. And uh, managed to slip the net under this. Absolute beauty. There you go. Oh, God, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right, let's get you back. Nice out now, cool. Well, I think instead of um, talking all the time and that, I think I actually just enjoy watching the fight for a change, hearing the birds singing in the background. fight on the GoPro we'll see afterwards and obviously me weighing it as well uh, just shy of 44 43 and three quarter pounds lovely typical color and, and look of the fish in here the mirrors and uh, um, basically this makes the 25th that I've landed out of 27 28 bites I've lost two and I've missed a drop back uh, Lovely, chunky Bosnian carp. Looks like a male, hasn't got a belly on it. But I think you saw the GoPro footage. God, did it fight. They really do some of the fish in here. Let's show you the other side. Lovely. I think these are all the same strain. They might be the ones that Christoph and that have stopped over the last few years. 
got little veins on them and that. Quite orangey around the tail, brown on the back. As you can see, she's still got fight in her. <laughs> hey. oh. Oh. A couple of fish showed as well while I was playing. I don't know if they got those on the film or not. But Up. Lovely fish. Yes. We're okay. We've just done the Come on, get that head up. Thank you. Right, well, I've got a special fish here. Um, it's not the biggest I've had, um, and I've had quite a lot, a lot of bigger fish that. Um, that I've not put in front of the camera because it's been quite a hectic session. It's Thursday morning, so five nights in, two to go, so at the tail end now. Um, but what I've got here is a lovely looking uh, 31 pound mirror. Um, typical straight, it's got all these red veins on it and that, they're so powerful. Um, but this is basically fish number 30. So I thought I'd show you that and let you know that I've had. Um, 9.30s, 8.40s and 3.50s in Old English money and I am one happy carper um, because of all the action and everything uh, the sessions has absolutely flown by so, and yeah, like I said, I thought I'd just show you this um, obviously I'll be just, you know, I've had 3.50 commons what I'm really hoping for now is if I can have a a 50 pound mirror, um, 45 is the biggest mirror I've had, um, so a 50 plus mirror would be lovely, but 30 fish, I'm going to go away happy anyway, so, but we're fishermen, we always want more, don't we, or bigger, so, I'll quickly show you her other side, I say she's going to be recognisable, I think with that single scale on her, when she gets bigger and older, she's obviously one of the, the new stock, probably been stocked in this winter, Christoph and the guys, Christoph and Marco and that, got the stock pond behind the lodge. It's quite slippery fish. It's got all the mucus because she's quite young. And that's our other side, folks. Yeah, happy days. Well, I mentioned it when I had the um, 30th fish this morning, um, hoping that the cart gods would pay me a rather large mirror, and they've gone and done so this afternoon on my left hand rod, fishing uh, to the margin of an old swim, and going around there and just, just um, catapulting bait out. Um, 
finally it can produce one of the big gills of the lake. So I'm gonna wait for it to calm down. Come on. It's a bit fidgety, you can see when the old tail twitches and that. Bosnian mirror. Yeah, I'm on. Try and turn it around on the other side. Yes. You don't want to play the game at the moment, do you? Slightly just there, yeah. And there you go. Well, that's my fourth 50 of the trip. And I think, let's get her back. We'll get her back. We go over to the uh, main lodge. Normally have some benches here, but um, they're over outside at the moment on an old sort of restaurant bar area that's um, closed at the moment. Not sure if when it will open. We've got like a nice little barbecue area here. So um, just use coal barbecue and that, and we've got the griddle. Uh, it's quite nice, nice local food. Uh, this is there admin machine uh, area is some of the uh, the fish uh, and this is the lake Basically, I'm in 29 here, um, and I've got a rod down here onto a gravel hump. I've also got a rod here where this tall tree is. There's a slight raised area here, it's got sort of sandy, gravelly, and then I've got a third rod out to an old swim. You can just see the markings of an old swim. These swims have been closed down, um, but yeah, um, I'm fishing one not that close, but. Um, yeah, so that's that's where I've got one there, one here, and one there. I, d I did have a rod out here in open, but I've just not really seen anything in open water this year. Um, and last year, uh, the fish were showing in and around this area and down here. Um, and then also at the 
bottom of the lake. There's, there's a lot of fish down here at the moment, and there's two anglers um, in 1819. So uh, I think this is 18, and this is 19, um, and they're sort of fishing out in this open water. And down here, you've got this bottleneck. Uh, you've got a pair of anglers in 24 and 25. And you've got a pair of anglers up in five as well. Yeah. This is the lodge. Uh, it's all been redone recently, replastered and, and that, so it's nice. I've got a couple of barbecue areas out there for sort of locals and whatever. Got a bike if you want to grab it. Uh, Marco's in, in here most days. You can obviously get him on Messenger and WhatsApp and that, but if you need anything, but yep. So basically, these are the sort of the facilities of the lake. Uh, this is the uh, toilet and shower block. You've got toilets in here. Nice and clean. And the uh, shower's just been upgraded this spring, so it's just been revamped. So I've just got a complete wet floor. And uh, you've got one of these new boilers and that. Oh, steaming hot. And I say got a new oh, wet floor and that. It's really nice and clean. And uh, you've got some chargers here. So charge your leisure batteries and any other gadgets. Got like a fridge here, so put all your your stuff in the fridge. More more charging points here. Uh, you've also got a sink for um, for washing your pots and pans and stuff like that. 